Michael Jackson would go down in history as the greatest entertainer of our time. However, it seems that even though after his death, people still can't get over all the allegations that surrounded him and his life. Is it time that we just leave it alone? we we'll talk about this episode of Real Talk. here a little bit if I want to hear me say what I thought about you know his life his experiences what I thought of him being uh, being one of his biggest fans as far as I'm concerned also the allegations that surrounded his life and even to some point in his death so let's jump in to talk about that it's always astounding to me that so many other stars has done some outstanding stuff in their life and has been proven that they've done them and they get over it but let me give you a few if you want to go back and you want to compare entertainer to entertainer, Elvis Presley was with Priscilla Presley when she was 14. Even though her parents gave permission for her to be with him at that point in time, it was still passe, even back then, for an older man to be taking time, especially when it's a romantic type relationship, with a girl at the age of 14. However, after all these years, that's been forgotten about. Let's jump into the whole thing with Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I'm a huge Lakers fan, if anybody knows that. But so a few years ago, Kobe Bryant was caught up into a rape case where he was had to fly back and forth to court in the whole nine yards, even though he admitted that he had sex with this girl and that he never raped the girl, which I truly don't believe that he ever did. He was acquitted of that because they found the girl was lying. However, Kobe is now back in the upswing. His career is back where it's supposed to be. His endorsements is all coming back to him. And again, it is what? Forgotten. Another person I'm a huge fan of named Prince, several long years ago when he was married, he was accused of having something to do with killing his child. However, it was not true. It was proven in the Minnesota court that it was not true. But again, it is what? Forgotten. Jerry Lee Lewis in his time frame married a 14-year-old girl that was not only a 14-year-old girl, but was actually his cousin. No one ever talks about that. So it is forgotten. But it seems that when it comes to Michael Jackson, nobody seems to want to let anything die, no matter how many times the man has been not found guilty, no matter how many times the man has made public statements, no matter how many times it's been putting in his songs. People just won't let it go. The sickening thing to me is some of these same people who was all against Michael, and Michael's a child molester, and Michael is this, and Michael is that, and Michael's such a horrible person, and Michael should be put up under the, the stake and burn, was the same people that was coming about how much they loved him when he died. If you felt that way when he was alive, feel that way when he's dead. I'm going to tell you flat out, I don't believe the man did anything. Okay? If you really do your homework on Michael Jackson, if you really listen to all of the people that was surrounded him, if you ever listen to the, to the interview that his publicist of many years and one of his attorneys of many years gave a couple years ago, then you would know that this was nothing new to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson being who he was at the time and being very rich, according to his publicist and his lawyer, faced an extortion suit at least two to three times a year for multi-millions of dollars. So I ask you to examine this in yourself. If Michael Jackson really did all of this, and if you are a parent out there listening to me, listen to the question. If it is true that Michael Jackson molested a child, let's just say it was your child that he's been accused of molesting, would you give up that whole entire lawsuit and sell out of court if you got paid millions of dollars? I know I wouldn't, because if my child is being molested by anybody, I don't care how much money you give me, how much money you offer me, I want to see your butt in jail. I want to see you off the streets, because I don't want you to be around my kid, let alone somebody else's child, that you can do the exact same thing too. I think sometime in the public eye, you got to look at what people go through who are famous and what they don't. They have money. Even people on the low end of what they call a famous skill, like I am, and like several other people that I follow, you know, like the Day Storms of the world, and the Ace of the Comics of the world, and the, and the Kevin Crafts, 
Okay, yeah, we're all on YouTube, but to some degree, some people consider us to be famous. We go through the same thing. We have it differently. No one's trying to extort us with millions of dollars, but people try to tarnish our name and our image in the whole nine yard. And they say a lot of things about us that is what? Not true. Okay? So, same thing when it comes to Michael Jackson. He was never convicted. He was never put in jail. And more than three or four of these people that said that something was done to their child all backed out of lawsuits when Michael Jackson's attorney said, just make it go away and let's just give them some money. And they left. That should be case in point enough to you right then and there that nothing that was said ever took place. You guys are going to believe what you wish to believe. Just like when it comes to Prince. I've been asked many times, are you a big fan of Prince? He's so weird. He went around running around with buttless pants on at a Grammy Award ceremony years ago. Okay, well, I like Prince for who Prince is and for what his music is. I don't know anything about his personal life. I don't care about his personal life. I care about what he is doing music-wise. Sure, if it came out, that he was running like a child pornography ring or he was, you know, a big dope fiend or whatever, I may have some reservations and may decide to buy his stuff for a while. But I have to truly believe this is what's happening. I have never, ever believed, my heart, my core will never, ever let me believe that Michael Jackson did the allegations that people said that he did. Yet despite all of that, millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of people Support him and supported him until he died and supports him now. The thing about it is on my recent video that I released for my review side of things, which was talking about the new game that's coming out, there was a comment that was posted that just said that basically anything the game would sell better than Rock Revolution and Michael Jackson was alive. I said I disagree with that. And of course he came back to what? His public image. Well, I hate to say this, but... The little small percentage of people that said Michael Jackson was guilty and should be hung by the stake is very small in comparison to the millions of people who still supported Michael Jackson. Does anybody really do their homework before they make statements like this or before they look at his image? Does anybody know that the, his This Is It tour sold out in record numbers? Does anybody know that they offered money back to all of these people overseas who had already spent money for Michael Jackson's ticket and they didn't take it? This is why This Is It was created for the fans. Yes, it generates money. But like I said in my video for the review, I said here, Michael Jackson reportedly has made more than $220 million since he has been dead. And that's in the release of This Is It. That's in the release of his new album, Michael. His mom has come up with a coffee table book that you can purchase. There's a four DVD set out there. There is no love lost for Michael Jackson. Yet I will agree that maybe some of this is from haters who he's had for years that just also want to get their hands on something that's Michael now. But I still think that the number of fans outweigh the people who believe that he did this or that hate him. In closing, I want to say this. Regardless of what you feel about Michael Jackson, there's one thing you can never take from him. Michael Jackson was the king of pop and he still is. And he is and was the greatest entertainer ever in the world. In my eyes, in my day and age, he is right up there, or it maybe even surpasses Elvis just a little bit. These two icons in the world, if you look at Elvis and Michael Jackson, had some tumultuous times in their life, even to the point to where, um, to where uh, the daughter, Lisa Presley, has went on video in an interview and talked about the likenesses between her father and Michael Jackson. Hold on to the music. The love for Michael Jackson still goes on all over the world, from the U.S. to Greece, okay? It goes on all over the world. We have to let this stuff go. The man is dead. He's not doing time in jail. Let his image be what his image is now. He is back commanding his fans, even from the grave. People are going out in droves to buy his stuff. So it just makes people who want to keep harping on this look bad. So what I want to do right now is let's get some love fest back for Mike. I am a huge fan of Michael Jackson. I always have been. I always will be. And I'll say it again. I don't think the man was ever guilty of anything that he did. I think there's a bunch of greedy behind people out there that wanted all this money. And he didn't want to give it to them. So they decided to extort it. And what was the easiest way to get to Mike was to say he's molesting children because of how he was set up. 
because of his ranch, because of the beds he put in there for sick children, because of the movie screens he had for sick children, because of the whole entire setup that he had with the amusement park on his grounds. Let's not forget, this is all the stuff Michael did for these kids, flying all over the world, you know, doing We Are the World for Relief for Africa. All this, uh, USA for Africa and everything else, all this kind of stuff, everybody overlooks. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. You know, you can agree, you can disagree with me, but only thing I'm going to say is do not turn this into a I hate Mike video because I will just delete the comments. This is, again, something that I did because I was asked to do, and I'm giving you what my opinions are. It's just time to let it go. If you don't like Michael, fine, let it be. If you love Michael, let it show. And that's what we're going to show you right here, right now. By permission, I was able to get a hold of this video. The name of this dance troupe is down in this description. You guys need to go and subscribe to this page, give us some kudos on their video, because I think this video right here truly shows the love that people have for Michael Jackson still all over the world. So I want to thank George uh, and, his, and his troop for allowing me to show this video to you guys. And uh, you guys know how to get a hold of me. Just write me at cena.cenascorner.com if you need to. My website, what everything is on, is cenascorner.com. You can reach me on Twitter, cena5401. And uh, until next time, guys, if it's not real, it's not worth saying. And enjoy this video. We'll catch you guys next time. I'm tired of being the victim of shame